In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up weighted mean of grades as the aggregation method in your Moodle course. Uh, so to begin with, um, I'm logged into my sandbox, and to get to the gradebook, uh, I'm going to go to the grades link in the administration block. Um, as you can see, I've created a couple of assignments, and I've got my student, Joe Columbia, who is currently receiving 83.33% for the course. Um, as I said in the previous tutorial, if you watched uh, my tutorial on simple weighted mean of grades, um, this is the default method, at least in our Moodle installation. Um, and so to change it to weighted mean of grades, um, you need to click on the setup tab here uh, and you come to the setup page previously known as simple view in Moodle and you're going to go to the edit pull down menu to the right of the course name here so this is the name of my course um, and um, we simply go to actions under the actions column click on edit edit settings um, there is no category name here because the name of the category is the root level or the course itself. Um, and the aggregation method is currently set to simple weighted mean of grades. So we're just going to simply select weighted mean of grades and go down and save changes. And you can now see that um, uh, we now have a weights column in our setup view here and we can go ahead and enter the weights um, for our various assignments or if we set up categories we could um, change the weights to um, the weights of the categories um, and any assignments within them. So if I save that now um, both these assignments are equally weighted. So for all intentional purposes, the point values don't really matter when it comes to the grading. Um, in other words, um, in simple weighted mean of grades, um, as I mentioned um, in that tutorial, this assignment was twice as heavily weighted as this assignment. So 20 points was twice as heavily weighted as 10 points. But because we're using weighted mean of grades now, um, we have essentially overridden those point values and said, no, we want them to be equally weighted in the course. So um, that is how to set up weighted mean of grades. If you wanted to set up weighted categories, you would simply click on the Add Category button here. Um, add the name of your category. So if you have a category in your course called Homework and you want to put all of your homework assignments in it, you would just enter the name of that category. I'm going to leave the aggregation method set to simple weighted mean of grades for the moment. Click Save Changes. Um, and I'm going to create another category as well. And I'm going to call it um, um, Presentations. And I'm going to leave that also set to simple weighted mean of grades. So I now have two categories, nothing in them, but the assignments are, are um, up here, uh, not in any categories. Um, so I'm going to move one of them. I'm going to use move this Introduce Yourself into um, the category Homework. Uh, and to move it, I simply click on the checkbox next to the assignment and go to the pop-up menu, Move Selected Items to. Uh, click choose and choose the category I want to put it into and it automatically puts it into um, that category so uh, um, it the introduce yourself has gone into homework and I'm going to do the same with class presentation I'm going to click on that and I'm going to move that into presentations and so now my Two assignments are inside these categories which do not have any weight. But if I want to, I can just go ahead and I need to give them weight, otherwise they won't um, they won't calculate or won't give the student any grade. 
and I'm going to say homework. I'm going to set that at 40% of the course grade, and I'm going to set presentations to 60. And then I'm going to click save. Now, do these values, the weights, have to add up to 100%? No, they don't. Moodle won't care at, at, at all if you change those to 4 or 6 or um, uh, any other values. What it is looking at is the uh, ratio or the relation between um, the number values in the weights column. However, because these weights show up in the student view or the user report in Moodle, we do want this page for all intentional purposes, the setup page, to look much like your syllabus. In fact, it should look identical to the way your course syllabus looks. And so um, the reason I'm using these values to equal 100% is that at least at our um, institution, I have never seen a syllabus um, to date that doesn't add up to 100% one way or another. So uh, there you have it. That's how to set up weighted mean of grades in the Moodle gradebook.